Have you ever had a movie or TV show trigger you so much that you genuinely feel pissed about it and it genuinely ruins the entire show? It's not the show's fault. It's your fault for expecting something from a show or a movie. I'm cracking my knuckles because that's serious. Hi guys, it's Luna. Welcome. We're going to be talking about a movie that genuinely bothered me. It's nobody's fault but my own. Don't blame the movie. It's my fault. Side note because I was texting my boyfriend. Does anybody else have like a thing where if your boyfriend does something out of the ordinary, you assume he's dead? For me, it's like for a while now, he's been like texting me when I get gets off work. Not even texting me. He's been like sending me voice messages telling me about his day. He didn't for like two days. And I'm like, oh, so you're dead. You know, you know so, so, so you're dead. dead. I mean, he texted me after work. He just didn't, you know, do it when he usually does. Like right after work. So I'm like, oh, you're dead. So you're dead. Like you spun off the road and went off a cliff, duh. Anyways, for me, the movie that triggered me a while back actually was A Silent Voice. Or that's the main one I'm going to be talking about. The reason I was triggered so badly is because of the ending. By the way, if you haven't watched A Silent Voice, it's going to be spoiled. So, like, don't get mad at me. You knew what this was. A Silent Voice is a movie about a deaf girl who basically gets bullied. But then her bully grows up and he's pretty much depressed. Like, he wants to kill himself depressed. And the movie's about him giving redemption for all things he believes he did bad. Which, he, I mean, he bullied her. So, like, hit her too. Like, was it just, like, like, like hit her. <laughs> so, like, but they were kids. Like, they were children, children. So, like, it's kind of okay. Anyways, he befriends her and tries to right his wrongs. And they get friends from their past. And then, you know the whole group falls apart because you know reasons honestly a bunch of shit anyways the main thing is the girl that obviously gets bullied and picked on because she's deaf and has genuine struggles is also depressed as well we find out and also wants to kill herself and talks about it constantly and it's similar to the boy in that way and the boy seems to have some form of crippling anxiety as well in some cases anyways in large crowds I think or I don't know if it's just anxiety or it's what it is exactly but it seems like it's a it's an anxiety or he has like panic attacks in like large crowds you know sometimes at least he feels isolated i don't know exactly what it is it's just like this thing of where he feels very cut off from people and then he feels kind of like i don't know how to explain it he just gets anxiety from that and i'm like okay well cool i guess but i don't technically know what's wrong with him anyways the girl tries to kill herself the boy accidentally goes off he almost dies but then he recovers and he's fine and everybody gets back together and there is this girl who throughout the entire movie first of all can consistently bullies everybody and is an actual shitty person and literally bullies the death girl because she's a burden on everybody else. I think everybody collectively can say if you watch that movie that the black haired girl can go die die in a fire. fire. And the way that they kind of like let everything she did go and tried to like she literally was beating the shit out of the the death girl close to the end there. Isolated the boy from his family like she can go die in a fucking fire. She's the worst person and know nothing about her whole arc was redeemable that's a whole conversation on itself actually that's part of it that's why part of it triggered me because i'm just like no no no, you can't like be like no 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 she's a part of the group now and you know we're all friends at the end no she can kiss the fattest part part of my ass ass. i don't care if the death girl is a nice person and she wants everybody to be included that girl literally beat her up and was during the time the boy was staying in the hospital was cutting people off from seeing him because she felt like whatever and it's like what and the mom was letting it happen. Mom, the mom should let the death girl's mom beat the shit out of that bitch when she saw her. Like that girl, like I ain't like the hair pulling and stuff. I'm like one good time. If the mom, the death girl's mom, just had one one good time, slung that bitch by her hair and hit her into those fucking hit her into that that fucking fence, I would have been so happy. That would have made the movie. I would have been even if they'd forgiven each other at the end. If she just slung that bitch into the fence, my life would have been a okay. Anyways, getting off of the black haired girl because she's making me mad. The real thing at the end that borrowed the shit out of me than her really was the ending in general. Now this is the whole thing with all movies really that are kind of one-offs and they're not a part of series and stuff like that. The biggest problem with them is they always have to have a pretty good ending or like a happy ending or you know like a satisfying ending in most cases and that wouldn't be a problem if this one wasn't talking about things that I genuinely am affected by and genuinely have a hard time not being bothered by. Basically, when at the end, the boy opened up and the exes, you know, went away from people's faces and the anxiety he seemed to be having went away when his depression seemed to be like going away and he had no therapy, no nothing to make it go away and the death girl, even though she wanted to kill herself and people were constantly blaming her and the one girl was also bullying her still after her trying to 
commit suicide. Like straight up she was like I'm jumping and the only reason she survived is because one boy saved her. After all of that and everybody's depression and everybody's happy and all this stuff went away and they're all okay now. After that happened with no help, no doctor, no prescriptions, no therapy, no nothing. At first I was genuinely crying about the movie then when that shit started happening I was like I got mad so I'm just like I wish it was that easy. Where's my poof magic to make my depression go away? You know what I mean? Where's my poof to make that anxiety feeling go away? Like, I don't get that. It made me mad because I'm like, even if they, if they just, I don't know. If there was real consequences to people's actions, then maybe I feel a certain way. Or maybe if they lingered on like what that does to you, I I don't know. I feel like because it was a movie, it was so short lived. And I do have a problem with movies doing that where especially there's like a really deep topic and they just take it and kind of water it down to something that can be, you know, not explained away, but solved, you know, at the end of the movie and everything's all right. And while I get to that movie, and you know it doesn't necessarily take away that this movie was actually very good I mean they had sign language in there they were so accurate with the depictions and some of the things like I was like wow this is actually really really good that last part just bothered the shit out of me and almost ruined it a little bit for me I can't watch that movie to the end like I have to stop at a certain point or I'm gonna get mad again because I'm just like it just seems so unfulfilled it seemed like all their problems could be solved but just be happy you know what I mean just don't feel this way or just forgive these people People. And it's like no that girl continued to bully her she still bullies her at that point I'm talking about the black girl girl yes I'm bringing her back in here because she was a genuine problem in the entire movie she really got no repercussions for her actions the mom tried to beat her ass and you know the other mom stopped her for what for what like she didn't have to say sorry really she made that girl's life a living hell actively for no reason the girl did nothing but exist and everybody still was trying to be friends with her and and in the it's not like the girl needed friends to be a better person or something like that no she had friends before she had people who cared about her before but she was so toxic that she just was a terrible person it, it seemed like she didn't even have to change to be better it seemed like the ca main characters changed around her and then they just accepted her apology I, I don't even know if she apologized but accepted who she was and then let it go and it's like no no you have to you have to be a better person ma'am and she really wasn't even at the end of the movie she was doing the exact same shit that she's always been doing you know just like if she had left the movie i was like okay that's great but because she was still there i was like ew i hate it <laughs> like uh and you know obviously there's mean characters in a show and you know there aren't characters that are like the best person in the world but she was just actively a awful person and nobody did anything about it she should have got her ass beat again if the mother of the death girl had slung her against the railing one good time you know, grabbed like not that bullshit like slap fight they were doing i mean like grabbed her like hard by her head because the death girl's mom had caught her beating up her child i would have grabbed her by the back of her head slung Slung her against that, slung her against the chain fence and started whooping her ass. The mom keeps slapping people dramatically. I'm like, bitch, if you don't grab her, like, slam her head against the cement and start, st like, stomping on her, like, curve stomp that bitch. Like, why did no way beat her up? I want to beat her up. But, you know, it's a short movie that had no series behind it or anything, so they had to make something that made you feel good inside. And the visuals were very beautiful and the depictions were great. And the movie was overall great. I just don't like movies that do that. And this movie specifically just bothered the shit out of me because I'm just like, my impression can't go away like that. Yeah, um, life still sucks for me. I still want to end my life, especially after the girl still bullying me and me putting somebody in the hospital. I want to do it actually more. Uh, I wish it went away like that. I wish the suicidal thoughts go away like that. Anyways, it was really depressing and I got really depressed. And I don't know why I wanted to share that with you. I just watched that movie and then just basically got triggered. And I don't like using trigger because a cringe word so when I use it I mean like that's the best way I could describe how I actually felt I genuinely like felt like a, a different type of emotion there I'm like wish my depression could go away <laughs> anyways thank you for listening to my therapy session uh yeah that's it I'm sorry I'll see you guys later Could have been stardust, same world but without us. Something made us, made us find each other.